Can I eat the polenta now? You're sure? Can you move the camera? Thank you, my God. It's been hours to make it. Hi, lovely people. Here I am in my kitchen with wood fired oven. I just checked everything was all right. Let me show you how to make polenta with a ragu of mushrooms. Yes, could be wild mushrooms, but I don't have any wild mushrooms. I just got supermarket mushrooms, you can see. First of all, we need to make a ragu. Put this one on because it's a nice pan hot. So let's put just a little bit of olive oil. I need to, to cut guanciale, just a few slices, not many. My God, that is quite few. Look, if you're vegetarian, no panic, no panic. Don't use it. Don't use it at all. You know, it will come the same, but not almost, almost the same. And then you can see I slice the guanciale. It can be pancetta, can be bacon. I don't want some big pieces inside. Then you add the pan. In the same time, you're going to carrots, right? Then all together, just a few slices at a time, and just put them inside. Look at that. It can stay because it was going too fast. Onion. Very, very important. Just use half of onion. Small, chop them quite small, but if you do it big, it doesn't matter because it will melt. Celery, beautiful. Let's use a bit of celery. Make sure you wash it properly. Then you just take a little cut, break it, and then try to remove it. All the string, so easy. If you don't want to do that, doesn't matter, still disappears. So let's put this one back again. Because that was too hot. You don't actually have to do that. And again, roughly chop. Just a little bit, not much. Grab your ends. Just put everything inside. Keep stir it. And you got the guanciale. You got the carrots. You got the onions and you got the celery. Oh yes. Now mushrooms. But the mushroom is good. Don't slice it. Just cut them in a half and a quarter. Just put them inside. Let's have a look how many more I have inside here. Oh, yes. Nice cup. I'm going to use this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. Wow, 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 wow. Everything just goes inside. Gosh. Wish I got more mushrooms to do it. Fed up to cut with a knife. This is really good. A little pinch of salt. Just a little bit. You can see, look, they all come down nicely. At this stage, lovely a tins of a tomato or a half tins, depending on the quantity. Now bring to the boil again. Everything, the colors will also will change. They will get a little bit dark. And when you're using water, better still, you can use some stock. That is fantastic. Shall I? I got some stock right at the back here. Oh yes, there, there, don't move. Oh, I found a ladle. Here's the stock. It's all bubbly. It's still hot, you can see. Oh, yes. The only things can do it. If you want to use a chili, you can use chili. You can put first chili when you actually do the sofrito, or you can do at the end. Do you know what? I forgot to put them at the beginning. Go straight in at the end. Let's go see my friend Jack the Basil. Actually, it's parsley. Get all those lovely stalk. Go, gadget, go, go. Yes. Look how much. And look, this is still here. It's fantastic. I put it inside. All in. My God, did you see? I went like that. Boom, I grabbed it, everything, and everything went in. Preface, preface, pray for, I can't say the word, press, pre, press, pray, 
profina professional. Okay. I just see this have a look. Mmm. So good. But it's not ready yet. So let's cook about 30 to 35 minutes and I'll come back with the polenta. Right, ragu is ready. You can see it's nice and cooked. It's the right, most of the liquid has disappeared. Now we're gonna make a polenta. What is polenta? Polenta is maize, ground maize. You can see it's all inside here. I got some simmery water. You can have a boiler, but simmery is the best thing to do it. Then you add no bubble butter inside. Well, this is quite a big one. Little touch of salt. For each liter of water, you use 250 grams of uh, polenta. Then you use a wisp at the beginning. You dissolve that butter. Then slowly, slowly, all in. I keep carrying on stirring. Pika, ha ha! Once you mix all together like this, be careful because when it's bumbly, you know, it can really splash. Use a wooden spoon. The polenta is ready now. You can serve in a plate or the old fashioned way to share it. Just put them on a nice chopping board. Grab the polenta and you empty all on a board. If there is anything left inside, don't worry, I will eat it later. Spread it. This is so nice. What I do now, right at the bottom, I give a nice grated of a parmesan. Yeah, go, 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 gadget. Then you start to put the ragu. Oh my gosh. Do you know what? This little bit inside here, I'm gonna make a little spaghetti for me later on. Lovely grated over parmesan. I need a chair. <laughs> Buon appetito. Hope you enjoyed it. Please do make it. It's so simple. Arrivederci. Hope you enjoyed it. Do you know what? Because you're still filming, I'm going somewhere where I can actually enjoy it. Right, ragu. Yeah, let's cut it. Right, ragu. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Ragu is. <laughs> doesn't matter because the ragu <laughs> what is <laughs> I don't know ciao